Oh, no, I can't use this. Oh, my God. No. See what I mean about bunnies getting totally squished? I'm just moving them off the side of the road so that if any scavengers come, they don't get hit also. There are two things I like about this. One is doing something that matters, providing a real option, something that animal activists who care and love animals can get on board with and something that the fur industry can get on board with. I'm not demanding the end to their industry. I'm simply suggesting another sourcing methodology. The poor little thing got hit in the road. Can you see? The leg snapped. It's a chance for them really to see animals killed on the roads, to not be disgusted. It becomes not just about uh, fur in and of itself, but the, the mindset that allows you to see value in something that others consider waste. Hoping to get uh, coyote, but the guy didn't get no coyotes this week. So. so which ones are mine? Any one of them, or any three of them, whatever you want, because there's, these are all roadkill in this week. If I can match them, then I can make those big neck muffs. Essentially, I put them butt to butt, and they come around and nose to nose, something like that. With the layers. I know. <sighs> Whether or not it's my opinion or the furrier's opinions, a lot of urban living people don't want to be associated with caging. And so I'm trying to be, help the fur industry be responsive to that, that critique. Close your eyes. There, that's good. 